Hello friends, welcome to FJ Informatics. Today we are going to talk about how to upload test cases and user stories in VSTS. I, I hope that many of, of, our, of, of the people who are listening to this channel, they are using Visual Studio Team services in their products. You are aware of how uh, we can do continuous integration, continuous development, deployment, we can do test management, defect management using VSTs. However, there is a problem with, uh, with, with using U VSTs. I mean, if I want to compare it with uh, HP ALM, one of the HP tool, which is, which is of similar in nature, uh, there is a process you can write the test cases in Excel and you can directly upload it. However, this, they, these are the limitations uh, I found in VSTs. You can't do it at one shot. So that is what I am trying to address this challenge so that you can you, you, you still be able to do it uh, using first working in an Excel offline and then uploading it in in, in VSTs. So let's 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 see how how it works in VSTs. I hope this session would be very useful for so many test testers who are and for test managers who are who are using VSTs for their test management and effect management. So next, if you want to do the bulk upload, first we will start with user stories. You know that user story is nothing but the requirements. So you must be having the user stories first and then you can write the test cases. So I would be doing it in three step process. The first step, I would be looking into <clears throat> how to upload the user stories. We will first write it in Excel and then we will upload it in VSTS. We will see how it works. The second, part would talk about how to upload the test cases using a grid. Grid is one of the features we have in test plan. Within test plan, we have test suits and we will see how we can use the feature of grid to do the mass upload of test cases. The third thing, very important, is how we can link our user stories to the test cases. Because fundamentally, these are, these are very, very much required for requirement traceability. So as a tester, if you, are, if you want to ensure the traceability of the requirement, you need to have first two things with you. You have the requirement, you have the test cases, and at the same time, you should also have the traceability. So first, we will see how you can upload the user stories using MS Excel. So my MS Excel does not, will not have, you know, will come with the feature where you can integrate it directly. So this is a step-by-step -step description. First, you need to install Team Foundation Server Office Integration 2017 from the URL which is mentioned in the slide. So you go there, download it, then you would be able to see that additional tabs and uh, and options available in your in your in your Excel, which which will help you to integrate it with VSTS. And that will make but that is really going to be very handy to us, and we are going to make it is going to really make our life easy. And under the team tab, configure the project details. So I will talk about how, how we can configure uh, the Excel uh, using, uh, using the current features of VSTS. Okay, so in my screen, you can see if you have the previous, uh, with previous uh, uh, the, the add-in installed, Team Foundation Server Office Integration 2017, then you you will be able to see this navigation bar here so i highlighted it for for more clarity so this is the team navigation bar you will in the menu you will find it once you will have that uh, office integration add-in installed in your in your machine now you need to click on this, then you will see it, it, it will open a regular Excel uh, window for you. On the right hand side, the team bar, on the left hand side, there's a new list. So here, when you click on new list, you would be able to write your test, your user stories here. But before that, you need to configure it. You need to configure it to which project in BSTS you have you you are going to integrate it so the new list 
going forward, you want to publish your user stories, you want to upload your user stories, but where? That is a very fundamental question. So that, that question would be answered once you will have the proper configuration with you. That configuration is nothing but the path of the project in VSTS. It's pretty easy, but yeah, a little bit tricky as well. So here, when you click on, 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 the, on the configuration sections, then you will find this window will open. For, 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 to maintain the confid confidentiality, I have, I have actually blurred the project name and all the, all the details which are really not necessary for you to know. However, you will still be able to follow me uh, in this slides with this screenshots. So this is the, this is the path, the first one. You can see that you click on server, you have to select the server and within that server, you will have all the projects which are asso associated with that account. You have to select one of them and then you, you need to click on connect. So moving on, once you will have this uh, team foundation server list available, you will click one of the one, one of among them and there is a button called add. You need to click on add button so that it will move to the next screen. Now the next screen, it will ask you following details. First, it will ask for the URL. So URL is nothing like if you have the project called ABC, so abc.visualstudio.com, something of that sort would be your, your URL of your project. The path would be TFS, port number would be 8080, Protocol, you need you need not to do anything. It, you keep it as a default one, HTTP. So once you will have the URL there, you can see it in the in the preview section. And you had to after putting these details, you need to click on OK. So that is how you are going to uh, upload your user stories. So this is the final screen. I think you have seen it initially. This is the final screen which will come. And here you need to click on, once you click on connect, your, your project is configured. So user will get an option to select the project. You will select it. And then the first screen, if you remember when we were, we were trying to connect our Excel entries, we wanted to upload it into user stories in VSTS, you would be able to accomplish it. So let's see how it works out. Here, here we have. So if you, if you have, if you have clicked on, if you have clicked on the connect uh, button in the, in that configuration uh, wizard, you would be able to see this, this, this is a standard template, which is start appearing on your Excel window. So there, once you, when you, once you're connecting it, you would select for the option called input list. And then these are the fields which will by default, which will come ID title, work item type state reason and priority so this id is 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 a is a read only field you can you do not put any value there title is your user story for example what are the user story you are you are selecting you need to provide a title the work item type would be user story you need to select it from the drop down and priority is you have to select the priority of the user story so here we are we are trying to do the requirement management, the upload of the requirement in the form of user story in BSTS. So after you have, once you have listed all your, all, all, all your work items, all your user stories here, you will click on publish in the team tab. You again, you will go to the MS Excel. You will find a button called publish. You have to click on it. So finally, all your user stories would be published to BSTS. Isn't sound great? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It is great because otherwise it's very difficult for you to go to VSTS, open the user story window, type it one by one, and then finally save it. So I think it is really going to uh, save you a lot of effort so that you will be more efficient and smart in dealing with user stories and requirement management in VSTS. So I'm moving to the next section is test case upload in VSTS. So if you are familiar with the VSTS, so we have, we have a grid option. So I'm going to use the grid feature of VSTS to upload the test cases uh, in, in bulk. 
So uh, you remember that whenever you are you are creating a new test case, uh, test case, these are the these are the fields which are mandatory which you need to provide it. For example, the test case title, you have to put the actions, you have to give the expected results, priority, area path, and the iteration path. More or less, we are going to do the same thing, however, in this fashion. So if you go to test plan. Test plan, and then you come to test suite. If you have another test suite selected, you click on you you click on creating a new test case. Once you have the test case window with you, click on new. So you will get two options: new test case and new test case using grid. So if you want to write a test case one by one by your own, you have to go for the first option where you will provide all the fields which we just talked about. And then you will click on save. So it will save one test case for you. However, we are going to we are going for a mass upload. So we will select the option called new test case using grid. So this is for the bulk upload of the test cases using the grid feature. So it is mostly available in the web version of VSTS if you are using the new version. So uh, there is one more flexibility here. You can also add a column. For example, if you click on the new test case using grid, you will get the standard columns uh, by default, which will come out. However, you can also add the column here, which you want to add. If you have written something in your Excel and you want to add that column here, you put you you add this column here, which matches with your Excel. You copy it and you paste it directly here. Once the grid would start appearing to you. So multiple test cases can be copied in the Excel test cases, and again, it is it can happen on the web version of it. Now I'm moving to the third third section. I think so far I'm I'm clear over uh, over to you about how to uh, how to upload uh, how to upload the test user stories first, how to upload the test cases first, secondly, and the third one is how you need to. Link your test cases with the user stories, and in other words, how you are going to map your requirement to your test cases. So, if you go to the VSTS, click any one of the user story. Under the there is a there is a window. You can see in this section, I I opened one of the blank user story. Uh, I mean, again, the data is is not visible to you, but you can still I think able to find out, figure it out. This is a user story window. There is a link on the on the right middle. You will find there is a link icon here. You click on on it, and then click on add link. So within the add link, you will get two options. Is one is about add existing or or add the new item. You will click on add existing because you are not right. You are not creating a new test case here. You are going to add it with the existing test cases. So this scenario is very much applicable when you have a user story already written, you have test cases already written, and you are trying to relate them. You are trying to link them. So once you will have clicked on existing item, this window will come to you where you need to select the work items to link. You need to provide the test case ID. For example, the test case ID is one two three four. You need to provide one two three four here, and then you need to. Click on OK. So that is how you can create a link between the test cases to the to the user stories. So that is what we are. I'm trying to emphasize here. This is a very short session, however, but very handy and very useful for 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 the testers community who really struggle to first write the test cases in in VSTS. But with this mechanism, you can write the test cases offline. In Excel, using that uh, add-in which we need to install, uh, we we can get it from Microsoft site, and you can write it offline, and then you can upload it uh, using the grid feature for test cases and for user stories. You can still do it through that upload features when you are really really putting all the configuration right and connect, uh, connecting it directly through through Excel itself, and finally you are able to link it. So that basically. Completes end-to-end -end test case authoring activity, where where your manager would expect you to write a test case which is linked to your test cases, to your user stories, 
and that is that is that, that is really required at this point of time so whenever you test it you really need need to know all your test cases whether they are mapped map to all the requirements or not so if your test cases are failing it means that your test your research stories are also failing i hope this session is very is useful for you please please comment uh, about your feedback and if you if if you if you really feel that this this session is useful please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you i appreciate your time you spent on on seeing this video and thank you very much please keep watching to our channel i would be coming again with more useful features more useful tips on java on testing that would be very handy to you and definitely would be useful to you thanks again thank you bye bye